Can I just say, some people won't like the fact that I try to always spin things in a really kind and gracious way. I'm compelled, and let me tell you why. It's the kindness of God that leads us to repentance. That's what Romans has been telling us over and over and over. Putting on that, that, that thumb of, you should do better, you know, it's really effective. Let me just say that though. I could pour it on like, you guys need to give more. <laughs> or here's an easy one, you ready? This one gets every Christian, you ready? We need to pray more. Now it's not condemnation. I could make it condemnation. We're all kind of convicted. We're all like, yeah, I probably need to pray more. But then I'm like, you know, we have a prayer meeting every Sunday and I haven't seen you there yet. Now, now I just got there. Did you see what I did there? I got you there. I went from like one thing to a whole nother thing of that. And you know, God doesn't do that to you and me because that produces a short-term result with a long-term bitterness. God isn't interested in doing that because he wants to spend eternity with you. And so he appeals to you and me on the, his mercies. I'm not a life coach or a motivational speaker, <laughs> but I cannot get away from the fact that the Bible reveals a God whose mercies are greater than we've ever fully been able to express in any language in any generation. He's kinder, he's greater, he is more holy than we'll ever be able to fully express.